Hey everybody, welcome to our very last recipe of the bee countries. I'm so excited. We are doing Burundi today and we're gonna do a dessert recipe from Burundi. So it's kind of like a snickerdoodle cookie bar and it has um, bananas and date filling inside. It's really yummy and it's a great, great way to celebrate the end of so many bee countries. So I'm gonna show you how to make it right now. So to start off this recipe, we're gonna take one stick of room temperature butter and a quarter cup of granulated sugar. I'm gonna pour them together and then I'm gonna use a hand mixer or I could use um, a stand mixer too and combine them until they're creamy. Now that our butter is nice and creamy, we're gonna add in two eggs one at a time and then we're gonna um, mix with, this, with the hand mixer in between each addition. So, I, oh my goodness, that's a double yolk. There's twins in there. <laughs> I think that's good luck. So we'll mix this up. Now that we have our eggs mixed in, I'm gonna put the stand mixer to the side. And I'm gonna start using my wooden spoon instead. So I have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, and then I have a quarter teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of baking powder. And then I'm just gonna use my wooden spoon to mix this up together. And that's actually the base of the dough. That's all we had to do. So Burundi isn't normally known for having a lot of desserts, so this recipe may not be the most authentic recipe. Dessert is more of a special occasion in Burundi. So as you can see, our dough has turned more into a cookie dough now. And so I have an eight by eight pan here with parchment paper in it. And we're gonna come cut this dough into about half. So this dough actually is gonna have to be really thin along the bottom and the top for now, but it rises when it's in the oven. So don't worry about if you think it's, it's really thin for now. It's gonna take some skill to spread it on this uh, on this parchment paper and get it to cover the whole bottom. So once you have your bottom layer spread, I have two bananas that I've sliced pretty thinly and I'm going to layer them in the middle here. And then I took some um, vegetable dates. Uh, dates can be a little bit sticky so you'll have to break them up with your fingers. So once you have both of your toppings in there, now you're gonna need to make a top layer of dough on, the, on this dessert. So I take some dough and I flatten it in my hand like a pancake and then I just kind of like lay it over the top. So I kind of just piece it together like a puzzle. And now I'll just kind of use my fingers to combine all of these pieces together so that it looks like one. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees and so I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 30 minutes. And So I knew that my cookie was done because it's starting to get in a little golden brown on the top. So I took it out of the oven and I um, lifted that parchment paper out and I put it right on the counter here. And now what I have is two tablespoons of melted butter and I'm just gonna use this and brush it over the top of our date and banana mix. And then that's gonna help the cinnamon sugar to stick and the cinnamon sugar is what gives it that nice snickerdoodle taste. So I have one tablespoon of sugar and a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and that's the perfect cinnamon sugar ratio, I think. So I'm just gonna use my fingers to sprinkle this on top. And now I'm gonna cut it into bars. So for presentation purposes, if you want a little bit of a tip, you can just cut the bars into, I cut them into normally, nine or 12, um, but what I'm gonna do for presentation purposes is just cut a little bit of the edge off of each edge so that they get to be really um, straight lines on the sides so that they present a little bit more beautifully. And then, once you have a nice square, then you can cut it into thirds. It's perfect because you can snack on these little pieces on the side, which is what I'm gonna do right now to taste it. I love snickerdoodles and I love bananas. And dates are one of my favorite snacks. So if you put them all together, I'm bound to love it, and I do. So 
Thank you for taking the minute to watch me make this recipe. If you make it at home, I really wanna know. So leave a comment on this video and tell me what you thought of the recipe because that just makes my day. And then make sure to stick around and check out the other videos from all over the world that we have here on the Four and Fork YouTube channel. Thank you for sticking around all the way through the bees and we are coming next from Cambodia.